Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to make your start to the year the best start you could possibly have in many different areas of your life. But specifically for this video, we're gonna be talking about the area of relationships. Loving relationships, your partner. And often our partners are our biggest source of frustration. They are our biggest trigger, our divine trigger. And we can be, whether we're new in a relationship or we've been in a relationship for a longer time, we can often be enjoying the highs and the lows of navigating this divine partnership. And if you're in a relationship, whether the person is particularly awake or not awake, that can influence how you navigate it. However, for you yourself, for the start of this year, we're suggesting that in the area of your relationship, you start to look at it from a different perspective. We're finding more and more that the reason Roxy and I were able to progress so quickly on our spiritual awakening journey is that actually we had one another and we had uh, my, my very close brother who was at a similar point in the awakening journey. And through our discussions, through our deep chats, we were often able to get clarity on our own stuff, which sometimes can actually be quite difficult to unpack and to see because we're so close to it. Now, if we were to apply this to how now Roxy and I help our private clients work through their issues, there could be the instance of somebody who is in a relationship and they're finding that they're at this point in the relationship where they might like to just actually pull a pin and get out. It's like, I've got to know this person, the honeymoon period's over, and now I'm really starting to, let's say, live with them, know them. They're starting to trigger the person. The person's starting to feel like they want to get out of there. And this can be in the, from the state of male or female, often finding that going to the old pattern of something gets too tough, run away or tell the person to get nicked. That's the old pattern. And maybe finally the person's at this point in their spiritual journey where they realize, and this is a very big principle, guys, everything happens for a reason. So life is not happening to you. The way they treat you is not life happening to you. It's happening for you to perhaps help you to be able to see something within yourself. So whether you're new in a relationship or perhaps been there for many, many years when you do get frustrated, irritated, triggered, it is for you to be able to perhaps see some sort of underlying pattern. If you can more and more move back from the situation, if you've got someone who is on the path and aware of causal emotions, you may be actually able to get led to underlying issues such as emotional traumas or false beliefs or patterns. So on the surface, we may be getting triggered by a person who is constantly running late, changing the plans, or just you feel in the relationship that the energy transfer isn't even. They're taking more than they give they seem to be less committed or showing up a lot less than perhaps the other person feels they should be, vice versa. There's this imbalance in the energy. But underneath what might be on the surface, the person running late or not contributing time, energy or effort to chores or uh, putting time aside to commit to the relationship in order to have special time, etc. Underneath that may be the triggers of unimportant, overlooked, perhaps not understood or not heard, that are all coming through from a person's childhood, yet manifesting themselves in the relationship where their partner seems to not be interested or to not really hear them or understand them, or they seem to want to have everything their way. But really, this is just the law of attraction 
bringing situations into a person's life where the person needs to see that within them are these emotional triggers. And as we always talk about, you've got to feel it to heal it. So the more that you can get guidance into going to exactly what the key causal emotions are, the underlying root cause. So the key might be to stop focusing on the surface issues, the anger, the feeling to want to flee or to get out or to start a, a long fight with the person and actually start reflecting in or find an opportunity to talk to someone and explain to them what's going on and perhaps they'll have some insight into what the underlying patterns are. We found that people have wound talking to Roxy and myself and having a, an actual discussion, not a, a deep healing session, but an actual discussion where the person talks through the patterns that are showing up in their life and then deep dives into perhaps what the underlying emotional root causes or false beliefs that have gone through their life, the patterns that maybe there are, all of a sudden they find that they're able to be the observer in the relationship, whether it be their, of course, personal relationship or it could be a business relationship as well, what the underlying root causes are and the person can respond way better rather than react. They can better talk through the process and help the other person to see how they are actually acting and, and carrying on in the situation, but also giving yourself space and time to be able to heal and to explore. Because often, as you change within yourself, healing your own personal injuries and your own false beliefs and getting clarity on your own things, the person completely changes as well. The other person involved actually responds and acts in ways that are complete, completely non-triggering any longer. The law of attraction has changed things. So if you need help in unpacking patterns that you may have coming up constantly in your life, or you would like to really excel in 2024, making it the best and having us there on call to be able to assist you regularly at short notice, you can click the link below to apply to be a private client and to work with Roxy and myself in helping to unpack some of these patterns that are showing up in your day-to-day -day life.